These changes on iPhone 16 Pro Max will make a big difference. Even we are going to see a big update in cameras and displays. Also, the performance gains on iPhone 16 Pro Max will be massive. If you guys don't know, then let's find out. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. For the ones who already own iPhone 15 Pro Max, better know one main issue in this device when it was launched. Yes, the heating issues and even a couple of people started returning their iPhone 15 Pro Max. The performance was extreme, but there is no solution to heating issues. Although later, Apple sorted out the issue with a software update. Now, not a lot of people notice, but Apple is going to change the thermals on iPhone 16 Pro Max. They are going after a new thermal design for 16 Pro Max, which will combat overheating. Apple is said to be working on graphene thermal system for the iPhone 16 models, and the iPhone 16 Pro models may also include a metal battery casing that will improve heat dissipation, at least a positive step towards the heating issues on iPhone 16 lineup. Apple is also going to add A18 on all models of iPhone 16, but according to rumors, they will call A18 and A18 Pro, where A18 will be used for iPhone 16 Plus and A18 Pro will be used for iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. Even the RAM options are upgraded only on base models, from 6 gigs to 8 gigs, but there is no update to Pro models, same 8 gigs this year. Apple is also going to change one of the most important camera on iPhone 16 Pro Max, the ultra wide sensor is getting an update, from 12 megapixel on iPhone 15 Pro Max to 48 megapixel on iPhone 16 Pro Max, a massive jump. This will going to improve the low light ultra wide shots on iPhone 16 Pro Max. Also, there is a special feature coming to iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max cameras. Although we are going to see the same 48 megapixel sensor on 16 Pro Max and there is no update in it, but Apple is using a new technology called ALD, Atomic Layer Deposition. The main purpose of using this layer is to reduce the lens glare while taking a picture or recording a video. This is more like anti-reflective coating, which will help to reduce the lens glare. If you are familiar with the Galaxy S24 Ultra anti-reflective coating, we might see a similar feature on the camera housing of iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. Again, this feature will be limited to Pro models. And yes, a 5x telephoto sensor will debut on iPhone 16 Pro smaller version. Last year, we get this sensor only on iPhone 15 Pro Max. The display update is real on iPhone 16 Pro Max. After the launch of iPhone 15 Pro Max, it was expected Apple might feature a new display technology on iPhone 16 Pro Max. They called it a border reduction structure, a best way to increase the display size, yet phone will have a similar size as iPhone 15 Pro Max. The Pro models, iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max features these displays and according to reports, iPhone 16 Pro will feature a 6.3 inches display compared to 6.1 and 16 Pro Max will feature a 6.9 inches compared to only 6.7. Now these changes won't affect the size of overall phone, but instead the bezel size will be reduced. Although there are some production issues going on with these displays, we could hope Apple will fix these on time to give us new displays as they will supply these new displays from Samsung and LG. There's one bad news according to some rumors, base model iPhone 16 and 16 Plus might feature the same 60Hz display. Couldn't confirm yet. The camera update is much anticipated on iPhone 16 Pro Max. On this note, if you find value from this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time till then, peace out.